Today's episode of Glenn's Retro Show is brought to you by DNA Dimension Designs, the best custom retro gaming decals in the game. Period. Also now available, Glenn's Retro Wear. T-shirts, jackets, mugs, carrying bags, and lots of other items. Show your support for Glenn's Retro Show and wear something with style. Thank you for joining me on today's edition of Glenn's Retro Show. Today's a little bit different. I was contacted on Glenn's Retro Show Game Gurus by Rager Warash. I hope I got your name right. And basically, he's been working on homebrew versions of some arcade games like Asteroids, Pac-Man, Dig Dug, Breakout. Now, these are not arcade ROMs, these are total homebrew recreations, and they're also very early prototypes. But he wanted to send them to me and have a look, and I was more than happy to do so. So let's take a look and see what he was able to send me and how they look. Let's go see. Come on, let's go. Okay, so here are the games he sent me. We have uh, Asteroids, uh, Breakout, Dig Dug, and Pac-Man. Now, remember, these are not uh, the arcade ROMs. These are simulations, recreations he has done in another program. And they're very early. He's told me many, many times these are early versions. They're not complete in any way, shape, or form. But let's take a look at them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably take a look at probably just the latest versions. But so, uh, let's take a look. Let's see what he's got. So the first one we have here is going to be Asteroids. Let's take a look at uh, the latest and greatest version here. And look at the mouse out of the way. There we go. So, oh, oh, I got hit already. So, oh, game over. Let's start this again. Okay, so the up arrow is my thrust. I have left and right turning. And it's very responsive to my inputs. So I have thrust. There we go. And we have our firing. So let's give it a shot. Now, there's no sound effects, which is kind of a bummer. But again, this is an early version. But um, they do look like little vector asteroids, just like the original 1979 version of Atari's asteroids. Although they, they rotate like Asteroids Deluxe. Which is kind of nice. And like I said, everything here seems to be very responsive. Doesn't seem to be any UFOs um, or scoring. But it's definitely playable. Whoop. And a not bad recreation at all oh whoa oh i didn't quite make it game over well that wasn't too bad the only thing is no scoring no sound effects and you kind of the ship resets every level but other than that it's pretty playable for an early version so let's see what else we got here let's escape out now the next thing you sent me here was actually the breakout and there's two versions here i think actually the older version is full screen so that's what i'm going to take a look at and um, it's a recreation of the Atari VCS, or as later known, the Atari 2600 version of uh, Breakout. Mm -hmm. 
and it looks pretty good. Uh, the scoring doesn't appear to be working yet. And obviously, there's no paddles uh, on here. You have to use the left and right arrows. Uh, hopefully, maybe you can add mouse support so you can kind of move your paddle back and forth a little bit faster. Uh, and no sounds. But visually, it looks pretty good. The other thing I noticed in playing is that the ball uh, doesn't take where you hit on your paddle to try and re-angle the ball. The ball will just kind of go where it wants to, to go, which is not, again, early version. It's just things I've noticed. Um, but it's definitely playable. Whoa! And uh, that the ball doesn't speed up, which is kind of good when using left and right arrows because it's very hard to try and get to the opposite side of the screen if you needed to. But not an all bad version of, uh, of Breakout. Now, what I have seen happen a few times, which is kind of funny, I actually recorded this once before, but the mic wasn't working. Um, the ball that's going up and down right now, sometimes will hit the left side of the screen and just go right, left, ooh, right, left, right, left, and you, the game, it can't continue because the ball is permanently going back and forth between the two walls. And uh, that was kind of funny when that happened. <laughs> But not too bad again this is also an early version he's been working on but it's quite playable so not too bad let's take a look at one of his other games now dig dug i'm going to save for last now he has three versions of pac-man's and this one i am going to go through all three because you can see the progress he had made now again this is not the arcade rom although it looks like it he did a pretty good job with the boot up sequence and all that so let's take a look at it So you can see right here, it's in a windowed screen, but it did look like the arcade boot up sequence, which is kind of neat. But you could definitely tell this is not the arcade ROM. It's going through all the guys here, but the 50 points that should be blinking. And the ghosts, when you see them, they get eaten up, then they eaten up the way the arcade ROM would be. But it's pretty close. If you didn't really know, it looks pretty good. And you can see it didn't continue on to the gameplay mode. But we are going to put five in for a quarter, and pretty good sound effect there. And let's start it up. You can see immediately there's only one ghost out of the four. And uh, let's see if I can get a power pellet here and try and get him. There we go. Ooh, ah, ooh. Okay, we'll try that again. He's too fast. Oh, I got him, though. But you see, he didn't go back to the cage. Oh, it crashed. Okay. He didn't go back to the cage. You didn't have the little eyeballs going up. But you can see it wasn't too bad for a first release that he had done here. So let's close this one and go to his next version, which I think starts going full screen. Let's let that load up. Again, a good boot up sequence. It's still windowed. And I think this is also the same. It just continues and uh, but it doesn't actually go into a gameplay mode, which is fine. But very good with the animations with them. They, they look pretty good. Oh, it did. Okay. This is not me playing. It's a demo. We can see it's still only one ghost. Let's uh, hit five. Start it up. We'll go through here. Oh, up. There must be an invisible wall. I can't go up or down. I'm trapped. Can I go up, oh, can I go up here? Oh, I can't. Okay, let me try going up here. Okay, there we go. Can I go down? I can. Okay, and once you do that, I guess it works. Let's see if I can try and get him somewhere close to a power pellet. Oh, oh look at that! I've never seen a Pac-Man inside one of their cages before. Can I get out? Yes, I can. Okay, good. Oh, cherry! Gotta get the cherry. Got the cherry. Oh, he didn't change. Can I get him? Nope. It's not. <laughs> See if I can complete one level here. I don't know what'll happen. I'm gonna try. Oh, 
he's pretty quick. sound effect there, but that's okay. I think we can get this level completed. Almost there. Oh, oh. And let's see if it continues through. Oh, it does a screen flashing. Uh, rebooted. Okay, but not too bad. Let's go take a look at his last release, which I do believe was full screen. we go and it is full screen let's get that mouse out of the way and we'll let this go through and see if anything's changed here Ooh. a little sound off okay but you do see there's more than one ghost here. There's two ghosts going. But let's see if it's in the game. They're all there. Nope, just the one ghost. Let's see if we can get him. Oh, we did, but he goes right back immediately. Can we do that again? Oh, but better than nothing. Oh, Cherry! Sound effect for the cherries there. Nice. Uh oh. We won't go up. Won't go up. Oh! Another invisible wall. Oh, I can't go down. <laughs> invisible wall Pac Man. Can I go this way? Oh, I can't go up. No! Dead. <laughs> See if I can do it if it's still out there, a wall. Oh, I can go up now, okay. Let's see if we can play the level, if we'll go to the next level, or will it reboot like the last time? Oh yeah, we got this in the bag. Let's see. Do we go to another level, or does it reboot? It rebooted and went to windowed mode. Okay. But again, each, each one was an improvement. So I'm dying to see the next version he comes out with. So very, very cool. Now, the last one he sent me was Dig Dug. You know, he did tell me this was an early version and there's no way to pump the enemies. But let's see what it looks like. X looks pretty good. I'm starting on round seven, which is pretty good. There's no boulders in here. But they look and sound really good. But when you're moving, you have to move and stop before you can go to your next direction. And it looks like the enemies cannot hurt you. But they look really, really good. The animations are all there. The sounds are right. Oh, he's gone. Oh, he's back. And I reappeared in the middle. So not too bad. Again, this is, he told me this was a er very early version. But at least, at least you could play Clean Up the Screen. Not too bad. And I, there's a little spot here. I guess you can go disappear and come back. So not too bad. Um, it just needs a little work. No, no score either yet. But again, this is something he can work on. Let's go out here. So actually not too bad. Again, for a homemade, someone who doesn't really program too much and kind of learning as he goes, those are pretty good. And uh, I look forward to whatever he comes out with next. So I think he did a pretty good job. Uh, I like them. They're, they're fun. Sit down for a few minutes and play them. There's some bugs that need to be worked out. But hopefully he'll do that and send me some new versions. And hopefully maybe he'll release it to the community so you guys can try it out yourselves. So I want to thank him very much for sending that to me. And if anyone else has something you want me to take a look at, please contact me and maybe we'll get on an episode. But for now, everyone, thanks for watching. And remember, game on.
at the Tiny Arcade fan page. Remember, don't admire people too much. They'll disappoint you. Sit, Blue Blue, sit. Good dog. Boom!